Hey, what's up, YouTubers, music lovers, synth waivers, family and friends? Scott McClure here, Elevate the Sky. Welcome. And I'm super excited today because I'm going to be doing a reaction. It's my first reaction to a song. And um, so, yeah, I'm super excited. It's the midnight. And uh, as you can see, I'm all prepared. Got all retro wave here. Um, it's going to be Landlocked Heart. And I'm haven't heard this and I know it's been out for a while and feel kind of bad because you know I've been so busy the past year or so that I kind of you know haven't been listening to the Midnight's latest music ex except for Change Your Heart or Die I did hear that one thought that was great um you know I love that they added some guitars you know being a guitar player myself that's always a plus so yes there you go Tyler and Tim good job uh yeah so let's get right into it uh landlocked heart by the midnight Ah, that's that's really cool. Um, you know, a couple things. Of course, first and foremost, I know that the Midnight's been experimenting over the past few years, and they've never, you know, at least in my opinion, they've never ever went away from their original sound. They just kind of added to it, and they had some of those songs and stuff that experimenting with, like, you know, EDM and all that kind of good stuff. But um, this it it just sounds familiar. It sounds like this could have, you know, went on the album Days of Thunder or Endless Summer, and love those albums. And uh, it has that tempo like Days of Thunder, right? It's just really up tempo. It's fun, uh, lush synths, dreamy lush synths. That's always a plus. And the guitar, love this this whole kind of muted ostinato kind of thing going on and. Uh, you know, that's always a plus as well. You know, being a guitar player myself, I just throwing in some like 80s style guitar in there and I'm in. Um, lyrics, so far that to me, in my opinion, is the strongest thing about it so far. And of course, music, you can interpret. That's the great part about it. You can interpret what you want out of it, how you relate to the song. But what I'm hearing is one or two things. Like it could be that you're in a relationship that you know, the ship has sailed, you know, you're, you're unhappy, but you still stay in it because you don't really know how to get out of it. Um, it sounds like it's time for you to move on uh, kind of situation. And that could relate, you know, that could even be attached to like a, a career, a job. You know, you're, you're just done. You're ready to move on and you, you no longer you know, have that, that passion or whatever it is that, that kept you going. You're not, inspired and uh or this is a big one that i you know i've dealt with in my life is you're just kind of tired of your hometown you know you don't feel like you really relate uh there's just nothing there that's left to kind of inspire you and sometimes that's very difficult to get out of that situation because it's very scary to move on from that and not just that but there's a lot of people you love you, you you'll miss and so it's a very difficult thing to do is to just pack up and leave especially you know like some people will pack up and leave like I did across the country um and that can be a very difficult thing to do but that that's just what I'm getting out of this so far of this uh, out of the lyrics and it's really cool I really relate to that uh yeah let's see where we go from there but I do want to rewind a little bit it sounded like it was about to, something was about to happen there so I just want to feel that Empty out my bedroom
All right, real quick. Okay. Um, really good chorus. Uh, I did not expect that chord change there. And I always love that when a song will modulate to a chord that's just like, whoa. It, it, it almost kind of sounds like it doesn't fit, but it does. It, it works. But um, I love that. If a band or artist can do that, I'm always interested in songs that will, um, you know, experiment and, and throw you off a little bit. And sometimes it takes a couple of listens to kind of get used to that change. And when that happens, it's like, yeah, I love that. You know, it just makes me excited. Um, good chorus, good lyrics. Like I said, I, I really like this kind of urgency, you know, this feeling of like, okay, I'm in this situation. I'm landlocked with you, right? Like whether you could represent a person or a place or a thing or whatever it is that you're trying to let go of. It, it's always that feeling of like the clock is ticking that can sometimes, you know, put the fire under you to get you to change that situation. All right. So, yeah, let's let's hear some more um, digging it. Like I said, it reminds me of something off of the first couple of albums and uh, the lush synths and really nice melodic kind of chord progressions. Maybe I left you a long time ago And maybe we both knew it Maybe this could have been heaven But we just grew right through it So what is left to paradise Out beyond its edges Empty lights of sunset sky It's really nice. I really like the guitar solo. Of course, being a guitar player, I love that kind of stuff. Um, very 80s, very the midnight, you know, Days of Thunder, Endless Summer style, digging it. But the good thing is, is even though it sounds like, okay, you know, I've heard this from the midnight before, it sounds kind of inspired, you know. It sounds like they've still got it. They haven't lost the passion for their kind of more synth-wavy style. Um, they still have something to say, which I, I like that. Um, yeah, it's very reminiscent of Days of Thunder and maybe even the Comeback Kid, the kind of style of like, oh, I'm tired of my situation, it's time to go, it's time to leave, it's time to change, it's time to, you know, like they have that common theme and, and I really dig that theme because, you know, I really relate to it being, beings that I grew up in a place that I felt where my voice wasn't heard. So I felt like, I really needed to venture out into the world to kind of find my voice, find my place, you know, being that that seed to, to look for the right soil to blossom in. And so I'm always a big fan of, of that theme, kind of like the Phoenix Rising kind of thing, right? And 
I'm also a big fan of songs that can have multiple meanings, like where they write it in such a way where you're like, yeah, it could be that, or it could be a relationship. You you know, it's time, maybe you're in an abusive relationship and you finally, you know, have the courage to just leave that situation or whatever it might be. So it's always good for that. But there's some, let me see if I can find this line. I really love it. Um, somewhere in here. <laughs> It's like right coming out of the guitar solo into throw it all away. Where is it? I will find it someday, but you know what? Let's do this. Let's just go back to the guitar solo. That's it. Yeah, these days are too short. I um, also love the the earlier line about throwing all this stuff away. You know, it's it's about letting go of things in life you think you need, right? And that could be material things. It could be physical things. Or it could be, you know, metaphorical. And we carry a lot of baggage, you know, in life. And sometimes we, we just keep piling it on. And it's hard to let go of that. But once you do, it it feels so good. You feel so alive. You feel inspired again. You feel happy, you know, and it's good. So if you ever feel like you're stuck in that situation, you know, step out, you know, change that situation. Yes, it's going to take some hard work. It's going to take courage. It's going to take time sometimes, but you'll thank yourself. It's worth it. It's worth to make that step because... Not only just because, you know, you're going to be happier and maybe find your voice, but because you're going to grow from it. So so there's so much to that. There's so much, there's an, such an advantage of just changing your situation in life, whether it's moving somewhere, taking that different job, exploring new things. Maybe you were into computer graphics or something, and now you're like, you know, but I've always loved music. Maybe it's time to try that and see where that takes you. So it's good. And like I was saying, you know, the days are too short. It's just like life is too short. And life is too short to just watch things from afar and wish that could be you or wish that things could change. When you can change that, you just have to step out and do it. Think about all the other things in life you took a chance on you'd probably be surprised at how many things that you've went for that if you really thought about it, it's pretty scary. Like, I did that? Wow, okay. Wow, I can't believe I did that. So you're really not taking any more of a risk than you already have. So you might as well, because life is too short, to just do the things that you desire in your heart. So as long as you're not going to hurt somebody, it's okay. It's okay to step out and do it. And don't be afraid. I think that the hardest part is the first few steps. Once you pass that, then that's the easy part, right? You know, it's just, just getting over that hump of the first initial, whatever it might be. But yeah, this song gives me that. And that's, that's why I think this song is a good song. It, you know, in my opinion, you know, because normally I would say that, you know, it just kind of sounds like another rehash of an older Midnight song, you know, from the first two albums. And in musically, in some ways, yes, it is. It's it's not anything new. It doesn't make it bad or anything. It just, it, it may not be as inspired as maybe some new experimental thing they might have done. Uh, but I think lyrically, they still have a message there and they still, and you feel like, you can believe it. You know, I think Tyler and Tim both probably experienced a lot of, you know, venturing out in their life and feeling locked down, landlocked, right? So getting out of that situation can open up so many opportunities and things like that. So yeah, but yeah, I love, love the final chorus, how it just comes out of the guitar solo into that. It just feels like it 
uplifts, even though it's really not any different than the original uh, chorus. But um, yeah, that's a good song. I would say maybe one out of ten. I would probably give it a seven point five, maybe an eight. Um, feels really good. I really like the last song they did, "Change Your Heart or Die." Um, the thing I loved about that is it it sounded familiar, but it was a little bit more experimental. It sounded more like they were kind of venturing into a more glam rock, glam metal, '80s thing, a little bit. And this one sounds more familiar. It's like, okay, this this is your usual the midnight synthwave thing going on here, and and that's all good. It's it's cool. I don't mind that at all because they've already proven that they can experiment and write other styles. Um, and that's probably why they kind of went back, you know, to this. Although I think uh, I've heard a couple songs in the last album. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to listen to the whole album. But what I did hear, they still they still managed to kind of keep that midnight stamp in their sound. And, and that's good. I think that's something a band or an artist should do is try to, if anything, try to at least uh, come back to something that's familiar because that was the whole point, right, of uh, whatever it was that got you excited to write that song or that album. You know, I think it's really good to kind of revisit that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm, I'm just super ecstatic that you you all tune in and have interest in what I do and you know, it's like hanging out. So I love that. I love that we're hanging out together, having fun, listening to music together. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for, you know, the latest videos. And I definitely uh, plan on doing more reaction videos. And yeah, in the link below or the link, <laughs> not the link below in the comments section below, I'll throw in some songs you'd like to see me react to. And, um, you know, it'll be fun. I'm super excited and looking forward to reacting to whatever you have in your on your playlist or whatnot. I'm super excited. I love all kinds of music, so don't be afraid to throw whatever style of music you want me to listen to and react to. I'd be more than happy to. So, yeah, thank you once again for watching. Scott McClue here, Elevate the Sky. Have a wonderful rest of your day, night, whatever it is there. And I will talk to you soon.